Ladies and gentlemen, Prime Minister of Turkey, Mr. Professor Dr. Ahmet Davutoğlu, Sayın Başbakanımız. Dear guests, we are going through very historic transformation in global structures. In this transformational area, there is a need of a very close coordination, consultation, and cooperation between policymakers and those who are implementing the decisions of these policymakers. In this sense, uh, an intellectual and operational cooperation between G20 and B20 is essential. G20 is composed of policymakers, leaders of 20 most advanced economies of the world. And B20 is the leaders of the business community, those who are guiding, implementing all these decisions before and after the process. This close cooperation is a must. Otherwise, either the decisions of political leaders will not be implemented in proper manner, or the objectives of business leaders will not be heard by political leaders. Therefore, this meeting during the President's, Turkish presidency of G20 for us is very, very important before Antalya summit. We want to hear your voice. We want to listen your concerns, your objectives, your future plan. And we want you to listen to us to understand how we are approaching the questions, which type of challenges and risks we are thinking, we are projecting for the future. <laughs> the refugees, not only from Syria, from Africa, from other countries, we have to have an integrated strategy. We have to fight against oppression. We have to defend the rights of humanity wherever they are, from whichever religion they are belonging, and we have to be shoulder to shoulder as humanity. This is a time where all of us would be being tested in the face of these uh, historic turning points. We hope that this voice and this dead body of a child we would, will be, would be seen by all international community and UN Security Council will take a decision how to protect Syrian people in Syria. For the last four years, as before as Minister of Foreign Affairs and now as Prime Minister and our President, all of us, we tried to convince world leaders that there is a need of a safe haven inside Syria where refugees can stay in their home where there wouldn't be huge numbers of migrants. But nobody heard our voice. They thought maybe that we are thinking for our national security. No, Turkey can protect itself, herself. We can protect our border. We can protect, and everybody has seen that if needed, we've punished Daesh and PKK and all terrorists those who have any bad uh, thinking about Turkey, we can protect ourselves. But who will protect Syrian people? We have been warning for four years that issues like Serebrenica will be happening if there is no safe haven in Syria. Today, it is time to act together. It is not only a geopolit geopolitical issue, as I said. Last year in Brisbane, I uh, in our leaders' meeting, in my address, I said that the best way to achieve peace is interdependent economies, as President uh, of uh, Top, uh, Rufat Bey, has mentioned. Yes, economy is the best way for peace. But economic decline is the most suitable instrument for political crisis and humanitarian crisis. It is time for all of us to act together. From here, I will come to three basic objectives and principles of Turkish presidency. One is inclusiveness. If 
there is such a crisis, the remedy of this crisis is inclusivity. We have to act together in an inclusive manner. We should not be isolating any segment of humanity based on their religious, continental, ethnic, or sectarian identity. Blessed lands that witness the birth of civilizations, ascension of empires, and most magnificent scenes of humankind's history. A country of opportunities, growth, and potential. 16th greatest economy in the world. 6th greatest economy in Europe. Aiming to become the 10th greatest economy in the world.